Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. My name is Michelle Lorenz and I'm so excited to be here talking to you about our company LifeVantage and how we use this new science of nutrigenomics to help athletes maximize their training, boost their recovery, and ultimately optimize their performance. And the reason I'm so passionate about this is because I too am an old athlete. So back in college, I was both a dance major and a gymnast really kind of wreaked havoc upon my joints, right? I've had 16 different surgeries on my ankles, knees, right? Um, six surgeries on my one knee alone, two reconstructions on the same ankle, need to have a knee replacement, need to have a reconstruction on the other ankle. I'm kind of a hot mess, right? And so when somebody approached me about the products offered here at LifeVantage and talked about how they could help with your inflammation, could help reduce your pain, your range of motion would improve, I was intrigued. But I have to tell you, like I've used just about everything. I've done cortisone injections, I've done HA, I've actually done Biox, bromelain, Celebrex, just about anything, more exercise, less exercise, cryotherapy. I've tried almost everything and nothing gave me long-term relief. So they told me, listen, you're gonna have to use these products for about a month for every decade of life. I thought, okay, well, what's it gonna hurt, right? Nothing else has helped, might as well try something else before I do my joint replacement. And so I did, and in less than a month, <laughs> and, and I should have had a lot more months on the end of that, but in less than a month, I started seeing the difference in my knee. I feel a, probably about 75% less pain in my knee and my ankles. That, for me, was a game changer. And so <laughs> I will tell everybody I know about these products because for me, it allowed me to get back into a Zumba class. It allowed me to start doing the things and push my body the way I wanna push it. And that's what I wanna share with you tonight. But you know, when I decided to use these products as a customer, that was one thing. But because my results were so mind blowing and the best results I've had since I blew my knee out in 1990, I was like, I gotta be able to tell other people about this. And so that's why I decided to join the company. But you know, what I did is I put my lawyer's hat on. And I looked at this company as if I were going to be cross-examining a witness. And so I wanted to look into the science. And that's what you're going to hear about tonight. I know athletes get approached all the time talking to you about, hey, you got to try my new protein powder. You got to try my new pill or potion. But they don't have clinical studies. And this company distinguishes itself because it does. That was important to me. It was important to me to hear from testimonials from professional athletes. You'll hear from some of those tonight. It was important for me to hear testimonials from regular people to see how this is impacting their body. And ultimately the science, it just kept overwhelmingly blowing me away and affirming everything people were seeing in person. And then I finally went and looked at the financial evidence. And when I realized that Wall Street billionaires had invested and owned about $75 million of this company's stock, I knew it was the real deal. That's the stuff I'm excited to share with you tonight. So hold on to your hats and then let me minimize myself here and we will get started on this presentation. Let's see, there we go. So what we wanna do here at LifeVantage is we wanna help you activate your body, get activated so you can get more ATP. Obviously ATP is where we get our energy as athletes. We wanna help you do that so you can train harder, longer, more often. We wanna speed up your recovery, boost your performance, boost your training so that you can do more of what you love, whether that's getting back into the gym, on the court, on the mat, in the pool, whatever it is you're passionate about that you've spent your time developing, we wanna help you optimize that potential. One of the athletes that impressed me that's been using our products, you may recognize him, this is Anthony Robles. You may have seen him on the ESPYs. He wrote a book called Unstoppable. He actually won the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championship when he was at Arizona State University. And as you can see, he was born with one leg. So he didn't let that stop him. He has been using our products, our Nerf 2 activator, all the way back to 2011. You see pictures of him here on stage speaking at some of our conferences. Anthony Robles believes in nutrigenomics. So on Veterans Day, he's gonna be trying to set yet another world record in honor of disabled veterans. This time he's gonna be using our NRF2, NRF1, NAD activators, all of them, along with our omegas and pre and probiotics. So Anthony Robles using these products that was really powerful, but he's not the only athlete. We have professional surfers, some of the most legendary surfers in the industry, X Games, X Game and Olympic winners, medal winners. We have long distance triathletes, cyclists. This gentleman here is an international cycling champion. This is a jockey that rode in the Preakness and the Derby this year. He's in his 50s. He's a customer only. He's Nerf 2 activated. 
We have marathon runners, try, again, try athletes, professional baseball, football players, NCAA D1 athletes, professional volleyball players, and bodybuilders. Now, why do they use these products? Our products are called ProTandem, and there's three of them. They're tri-synergizers, and they help protect your cells from damage. So on the right, we'll talk about these more as we go on, but they do things like protect your mitochondria and help you boost your ATP, support your joint health, your muscle recovery, reduce oxidative stress. All of us know the harder you push your body, the more oxidative stress you produce, and you want to turn on your body's own antioxidant pharmacy. That's what you see there, sod, catalase, and glutathione. You can't take supplements of those. We want to help your body's inflammatory response. We all know what it's like if you've had Tommy John surgery on your elbow, if you've had rotator cuff surgery, you've had a blown out knee like me. We want to help you with what's called autophagy. Autophagy is getting rid of the junk, the waste inside your cells, the damaged cells, the damaged proteins. Boost your detoxification, super important. If you've done PEDs or if you've just been rolling around on the grass that has all sorts of glyphosate and pesticides sprayed on it, help you get better sleep, super important for athletes because that's where your body repairs itself. Obviously, your heart and liver and organ function is important for athletes your focus, your mood, your energy, and ultimately help support healthy DNA. And we're going to do that with our three activators. So Nerf 2 is our flagship product that helps with your free radicals, decreasing your oxidative stress. Nerf 1 helps boost your mitochondria and your ATP, so critical for athletes. And then our brand new activator, our NAD activator, is going to help boost your longevity genes called sirtuins. And we'll talk about each one of those individually tonight. Now, what we know about performance as athletes is as we age, our performance goes down. And that's because of a couple things. Our body doesn't get the same amount of oxygen to our heart and our muscles the way it did when we were younger. We have cellular damage that occurs. And unfortunately, our body's own defense system, it doesn't work as well as we age. And part of the reason is because our bodies have been hijacked by all sorts of damaging things, whether it's PEDs and steroids, whether it's the GMOs in our foods, if you're not eating organic, could be cosmetics, could be cleaning slides, pollutions, heavy metals are a huge, huge, huge issue, both in our water supply, but all sorts of other exposure, could be even the heavy metals in your teeth. All of these things hijack our bodies and they cause what? Cellular damage. The more cellular damage you have, the less athletic performance you're gonna get out of your body. So here at Life Vantage, we wanna teach you to biohack your body. So what is biohack? It means taking back control of your own body, optimizing your own health, your own lifespan, improving your quality of life. But for those of you on this call tonight, we wanna to help you optimize that genetic potential, get every last drop out of the performance out of your body that you can. And we do that using epigenetics and nutrigenomics. So epigenetics, pretty simple. It's just studying how the environment impacts the way our genes express themselves because our genes are just blueprints and we can change the expression of about 4 million of those genes. You'll hear about some of them tonight. How big of a deal is this? How new is this science? This is, this is mind blowing to me. At the beginning of October, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded and it was awarded to some scientists who discovered a protein that attaches to your body's DNA inside your cells and it changes the way your body genes express themselves. Here at Life Vantage, we've been doing that same exact thing. We've been using Nerf 2, Nerf 1, and NAD to attach to our DNA and impacting the way our longevity genes and our survival genes impact themselves. I love that we've been on the forefront of this and we're doing it naturally. That's the best part. And we're doing it with what's called nutrigenomics. So nutrigenomics is how nutrition, nutra, impacts our genes expression or genomics. Now, tonight we'll focus on several different topics. We're gonna to talk a lot about mitochondrial function and ATP. You're gonna hear a ton about oxidative stress because as athletes, the more we push ourselves, the more free radicals we generate. You're gonna hear about inflammation. We all know what it's like after a, a big leg day, right? And then you're gonna hear about how to detoxify your body. So first, let's start with ATP and mitochondria. So some of you might remember Greg Lamond. He won the Tour de France, the only person from the US who's ever done it without PEDs. So Greg Lamond authored this book back in 2015 with a, a physician. And in this book, he says, listen, mitochondria, they are as important to an athlete's vocabulary as protein and carbs. And if you don't understand how mitochondria are impacting your performance, you're missing out. And the reason he learned about it is because he actually got shot kind of in a, a friendly fire shooting when they were out hunting, right? And he has buckshot still in him. He has lead in him. 
and that lead poisoned his mitochondria. The reason he had to retire from cycling is because he now has a mitochondrial disease from that heavy metal poison inside of his body. So he learned, unfortunately, how important mitochondria are to us. Now, mitochondria, what are they? They're these little things on the slide that look like worms. And we have mitochondria in all of our 37 trillion cells. Every cell has mitochondria in them. Our mitochondria are the engines of our cells. You don't need to worry about all the complicated science behind it. They're what gives us our energy. They produce up to 95% of our body's energy. And our quality of life depends on our quality of mitochondria. But our quality of performance also depends on our quality of mitochondria. And that's why athletes like Greg LeMond say everybody needs to understand mitochondria. So this is, again, from Greg LeMond's book. He says, listen, mitochondria, they give us our athletic power. The more intense exercise you do, the more you boost your mitochondria. So the Michael Phelps of the world, they have more mitochondria. If you're injured, if, you if you're down and out for a while, the lack of exercise decreases your mitochondria. And here's the good and the bad. Mitochondria, they help us with our ATP, but they also produce oxidative stress as our waste product. So how do we manage both of those? Let's talk about mitochondria in the context of ATP and VO2 max. We all know a lot of athletes have been testing their VO2 max, right? So how does VO2 max work and why should this matter to you? So VO2 max is not how much oxygen we take in, but how much oxygen gets to our heart and our muscles, right? And so what do we know? We know that our VO2 max is actually how much oxygen our mitochondria consume. And so VO2 max of most men is between 40 and 50. If you're an elite athlete, it's usually between 60 and 80. Greg LeMond's was up over 90. Women's mitochondria, usually about 20% less than most men. Now, I wanna compare this because I wanna give you an illustration of how important mitochondria are. In nature, there are two athletes that are elite, elite endurance athletes, horses and dogs. So the VO2 max of a thoroughbred racing horse is about 200. Of a sled dog that runs the Iditarod, those dogs, their VO2 max is around 300. So Greg LeMond's was 90, and these sled dogs are at 300. That's how elite of machines their bodies are. Why do you think that is? Well, here's what we know, is dogs have about 70% more mitochondria than us, and if they have 70% more mitochondria, guess what happens when they exercise? They become even more elite athletes. So that's what we wanna help you do. We wanna help you figure out how to boost your mitochondria so that you can get more ATP and more VO2 max, a higher VO2 max, which means more oxygen to your muscles and your heart. Now, sadly, <laughs> as we age, our VO2 max declines. So about 10% per decade once you hit the age of 30. And for power athletes, we know that your performance drops more quickly than endurance athletes, and that's because our fast twitch muscles, our, our power muscles, they decline, the cells in those muscles decline more quickly than our slow twitch muscle fibers. So again, and if we, a, if we, as we age, we injure ourselves, we recover more slowly. Even if we just have a tough leg day, it's harder to recover, right? So that's why we wanna take care of our mitochondria. This was, you know, I said to you, I looked for the evidence when I looked at this company, and this was a, a study that I found it's from 2015 and it's before MyFanage came out with its NAD or NRF1 activators. So let's talk about what happens inside of our bodies when we exercise, when we undergo caloric restriction or we stress our bodies. So you can see here, when we exercise or go undergo caloric restriction, what happens? Our bodies produce NAD and that NAD produces more ATP. Good stuff, right? But those the NAD is really important for our sirtuins, the longevity genes I mentioned to you earlier. What we also know though is when we undergo oxygen deprivation and we push our bodies really hard, we get more oxidative stress. And both those sirtuins and oxidative stress, they activate a gene that controls mitochondria, mitochondrial biogenesis. Gene is called PGC1 alpha. And this gene is also related to NERF2 and NERF1 which in turn impacts our body's mitochondria. This for me was huge validation and it was a way for me to believe what the company was saying because the scientists were talking about NAD, NERF1 and NERF2 long before the company launched NAD and NERF1. Now let's talk about mitochondria. We know that our muscle fibers typically between four and 7% mitochondria. Our cells like our, in our biceps, we typically have about eh, 250 or so mitochondria in each cell in our biceps, in your big muscles like your quads and your glutes, maybe up to 2,000, 2,500. 
your heart up to 5,000. So that's why having a healthy mitochondria is so important for your performance because it's giving the oxygen to what? Your muscles and your heart muscle, right? And the more you exercise, the more you boost that. Now, if you are somebody that was laid up with an injury like I was, I was in a cast for two months after I ruptured my ACL, MCL, and meniscus and fractured my patella. And because of that, my mitochondria declined. They said in just a month, you can lose about 30% of mitochondria in muscles that are immobile. That's why it's even more important if you're rehabbing from an injury to make sure you're boosting your mitochondria, that you're taking care of your body with NAD, NERF1, and NERF2. Now, these are our three tri-synergizers. Mentioned NERF2 takes care of antioxidants and free radicals that hijack our body. NERF1, its primary job is to boost your body's mitochondria. And sirtuins, those are boosted by NAD. Now, the science gets a little complicated, so we wanted to give you a simpler way to think about this. So think about a fireplace. And so when we eat, our mitochondria get that energy and they convert it into ATP so that we can exercise, right? But exercise, the waste product is free radicals, the pollutions in the airs, those all create free radicals and oxidative stress, and we get more inflammation. So think about these three tri-synergizer products the way you would a fire in a fireplace. What does NERF-1 do? NERF-1 impacts our mitochondria. So when you want a bigger fire, what do you do? You put more logs on the fire and you want more logs. Same thing if you want a healthy cell. You want more mitochondria and you want bigger, thicker, more robust mitochondria. That's what NERF-1 does. Then NERF-2, what does NERF-2 do? As you burn the fire, what happens? You get soot up in your fireplace, right? You have to have a chimney sweep, come clean it out. NERF-2 helps take care of that stuff, the soot in the fireplace that's going up the chimney and that's gonna help you reduce your oxidative stress. But what does NAD do? NAD takes care of the soot inside your cells, just like the soot at the bottom of a fireplace. If you don't ever get rid of that soot, eventually your fire's not gonna burn well. Same thing happens in your cells. You have to get rid of those toxins, those misfolded proteins, the damaged cells that have occurred, because if you don't, your cell won't work as well, just like your fire won't work as well. NAD is like the lighter fluid that makes NERF-1 and NERF-2 work better as well. Now let's start talking about NERF-1 specifically and give you a few more details. Our NERF-1 activator, you heard what it does. First of all, all three of our activators are BSCG certified. For those athletes on the call, that is important. That's the banned substances control group. You can take our products and not worry about failing a drug test, right? So our NERF-1 activator, it's gonna limit the impact of mitochondrial dysfunction. It's gonna enhance the function of existing mitochondria, make them bigger, bigger, thicker logs on the fire. It's gonna stimulate the production of new mitochondria, throwing more logs on the fire. It's gonna support healthy DNA, healthy heart and brain health, help you with your restorative sleep, your circadian rhythms, your REM sleep is gonna be great you're gonna also learn that it's gonna boost your ATP, just like we talked about earlier. And what's in it? So alpha lipoic acid, CoQ10, resveratrol, quercetin, and acetyl L-carnitine. My trainer used to have me take L-carnitine before every leg day especially. Now I know why, because it was boosting my body's mitochondria. These five products though, they combine in what's called synergy. You're gonna hear about synergy in just a little bit but it makes the individuals don't perform as well as the sum of the parts, just like a great Hall of Fame athlete on the team can't win the Super Bowl by himself. He needs to have the team around him. That's the same thing with Synergy. So our second product we're gonna talk about tonight is our NAD activator. And NAD is what turns on those bodies, genes, those sirtuins. So our NAD activator, what does it do? It regulates those seven different sirtuin genes. It supports your joint health and your muscle recovery. People using this are saying they're not sore the day after a 10 mile run when they're training for a triathlon. Think about not having DOMS or less DOMS the leg day after leg day. It's gonna, bo again, boost your ATP just like Nerf One does. It's gonna support your own body's pharmacy, turning on your inflammatory response, gonna get rid of that junk in yourself, that autophagy, help heart cholesterol levels, liver, vascular function, mood and motivation, mitochondria are big deal, big, big deal. Three different of those seven sirtuin genes all control mitochondria, help with your healthy DNA, and this is what's in it, wasabi. Wasabi, a lot of people use wasabi, right? And then olive oil extract, theocrine, which is in the caffeine family, but it doesn't give you the jitters like a lot of fat burners do that have caffeine in them, so very healthy for you. And then cuprous niacin, which is a 
what stimulates our bodies to make NAD. Now, these sirtuin genes I mentioned to you, here they are. You see the picture of them, sirtuins three, four, and five all relate to mitochondrial health. All mammals have these genes. We have seven of them and they are super important. You can read this slide, take a snapshot of it to a whole bunch of different things in our body. These were discovered by two, really pretty much two scientists, a scientist at MIT named Lenny Guarente, and then his protege, who is now at Harvard, Dr. David Sinclair. They are geneticists that are leading the study of longevity genes. You can listen to a whole bunch of podcasts from David Sinclair. He just came out with a book called Lifespan in which he talks about the impact of these sirtuins. Now, as we age, these sirtuin genes don't work as well. They decline in activity by about 60%. That's why our athletic performance goes down. Now, scientists study this, how do we boost sirtuin activity? Caloric restriction. So a lot of people use intermittent fasting. You may do, be doing an 18-6 or 16-8. Here's the deal, intermittent fasting is good for you, but it doesn't stimulate your sirtuins like caloric restriction. So if you wanna stimulate your longevity genes, you gotta eat between five and 700 calories a day every day. And even if you're using intermittent fasting, you've gotta do that for two solid days before you're gonna trigger your sirtuins to turn back on and up, upregulate your sirtuin activity. So look, that's hard to do. Nobody wants to eat 500 calories a day and especially can't do that on a leg day, right? Or a hard workout day if you're gonna be training for a marathon. So how do we boost our sirtuins? We boost them with NAD. Sirtuins need NAD just like a Mercedes Benz needs fuel. So here at LifeVantage, I mentioned to you before, science matters here. We believe in clinical studies. So we put our products to the test. So we took our brand new NAD activator and we compared it to caloric restriction. So you remember if you go with intermittent fasting or caloric restriction for 500, 600, 700 calories a day, you're gonna boost your sirtuin activity by 94%. Or you can take two of our NAD activators and you're gonna boost your sirtuin activity by 100% in just 24 hours. But that wasn't enough, so we put it to the test again, we compared it to the competitor, that precursor, advertised by a former professional uh, athlete, an NFL Hall of Famer. That athlete takes that and he raves about how wonderful it performs, but that only upregulates your sirtuin activity by 2% in 24 hours. So that's why so many people are calling our product like caloric restriction in a bottle. Their product, the competitor, even after 30 days, only upregulates your sirtuins by 40%. We upregulate in one day by 100%. That's why we're so excited about how this is helping athletes. Now, before we close up talking about NERF 1 and NERF 2, we want to talk, or NERF 1 and NAD, we want to talk to you about mitochondria because there's things that boost it. You see here are products that help boost your mitochondria, but on the right, these are the things that damage your mitochondria. So that beer you're drinking after a workout hurts your mitochondria. If you're taking statins or metformin, it hurts your mitochondria. Ironically, so many athletes used to do speed back in the 70s and 80s before a game that hurt their mitochondria. But here's what I think for all of us everyday athletes, a lot of us take Celebrex, NSAIDs, ibuprofen to help with inflammation. And what does that do? It damages our mitochondria. So what if we could find a way to decrease your inflammation without those? Well, we can. And that's by turning on your body's pharmacy by activating your NERF2 pathway. So I wanna share this story with you. This is from Simon, you saw his picture. He's the 15 times national cycling champion out of South Africa. And he's working in the US as a cycling coach and a triathlete coach. And so when he first started our product, he started them as a customer and he was only using Nerf 2. And he went out and was training five days of hard legs. So he figured he was really, really gonna be exhausted, but he was surprised because he felt better on the second day than the first, better on the third than the second. And by the time he got to his fifth day, he felt the best of all the days and he said this isn't normal. So he put this to the test. Again, all of us here believe in our science. So he went and did uh, tested his power. And on this power output, he thought he'd only be able to go for a couple minutes because he had pushed his legs so hard that week. He completed the test of 20 minutes and not only did he complete it, but it was his best time ever. Why is that? Because he was decreasing his inflammation and oxidative stress while he was training his legs. So then he put it to the test again and he gave it to one of the triathletes he was training. That triathlete went out and ran the half Ironman, finished it, and the next day, guess what? Less doms. That convinced Simon. It's why he says he will never 
stopped taking NERF-2, NERF-1, and now NAD. But this testimony was before NERF-1 and NAD came out. So imagine what his performance would be like now. So why did it work? So we know oxidative stress is really just a buildup in our bodies. It's an imbalance between our body's antioxidants and free radicals. Now, everybody's heard of antioxidants, but you know they've kind of gotten a bad rap because the antioxidants you take, they don't do a real good job. And so what we wanna do is we wanna, every time you utilize oxygen, it produces free radicals. And the more pollutants and hijacking things, the more free radicals you have. You see the impact of oxidative stress here on this apple. So what we wanna do here at LifeVantage with our ProTandem NRF2 activator is we wanna help you get rid of those free radicals. So NERF2 is going to affect the expression of over 500 different survival genes those genes are the ones that we needed to work before we had a pharmacy, before we had anti-inflammatories, before we had Band-Aids, before we had an ACE wrap. We needed to have genes that helped us control our bodies back in the dinosaur days. That's what NRF2 does. It regulates 500 different survival genes to protect your cells from cellular damage. But here's it's one of its most important functions. It's gonna increase your body's own pharmacy. It's gonna turn on your body's own antioxidants that only your body can make that are way more powerful than vitamin C and vitamin E and blueberries or any of that juice you're drinking. It's gonna help you minimize your oxidative stress. And the reason is because those antioxidants that our body makes, they're capable of neutralizing up to a million free radicals. That's a really big deal. One antioxidant molecule that your body makes, a million free radicals. So it's also gonna help your anti-inflammatory, antifibrotic and detoxification function. There's a study, our very first study, again, science matters here, that proves in humans that it lowers your oxidative stress by an average of 40% in 30 days. Whoever invited you to this uh, webinar can get you a copy of that study. And it's the only dietary supplement ever tested by the US government, the National Institute of Aging, that's been clinically proven to extend median lifespan in male mice by 7%. And then this quote is actually from a study out of the University of Arizona's med school. It's a quote, um, the study is actually talking about cardiovascular health and NRF2 activation. And in that study, or it's actually a review, they mentioned that NERF2 Pro Tandem, our product that you see here on the screen has been vetted in scientific journals and clinically proven, clinically proven to activate nuclear NERF2. You are not gonna find that with any other supplement. You buy at GMC or High Health or off of Amazon. And what's in it? So it's got turmeric, ashwagandha, milk thistle, bacoba, and green tea extract. All of these combine in synergy and have been giving us just incredible results. That's why we have sold 23 million bottles of this product over the last 10 years. Now, a lot of you take great care of yourselves, you're athletes, so you eat organic, you do your protein shakes, your green smoothies, maybe you take antioxidants or, or turmeric make to help you with inflammation. Why do you need ProTandem? We get that question all the time. So I wanna show you a couple of our studies. This one was the study that came out in 2009, and we studied each of these individual ingredients compared to ProTandem. We also compared it to sulforaphane, which comes from broccoli as, a, as the control. Now it's a big deal because this study was funded by the American Diabetes Association and grants from the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. So for me, that was big validation that they were giving this company money to conduct its studies into ProTandem. And what they found is that ProTandem was 18 times more effective than any individual one of those ingredients. And that's because of synergy. Synergy is basically like a recipe and ProTandem is a patented recipe. So when you make a cake, you put sugar and flour and shortening and eggs and vanilla, baking soda together, and it's either a really great cake or something that nobody wants to eat. Well, synergy is a chemical reaction that occurs with different compounds. That's what you're seeing the impact here. The synergistic effect of all five of these ingredients is why you just can't take curcumin and milk thistle and get the same results as taking ProTandem. But the other probably more important reason is this called an antioxidant hierarchy. The things on the bottom that are circled are some of the antioxidants that you've probably taken over your career. Those are called exogenous, external to your body. They will stimulate your cells. They're good, but they're not as good as the ones on the top. The ones on the top in the dark blue, those are endogenous, the antioxidants that only your body can make. So let that sink in. You cannot take a supplement of sod, catalase, or glutathione peroxidase. Only your body can make them. And importantly, the higher you go up this hierarchy, the more powerful they get. And then 
why do we think this is so important for pro tandem nerf 2 because it stimulates those ones on the top in the bright blue you're going to find nerf 2 is clinically proven again in a study that came out in 2009 to increase glutathione peroxidates by 300 percent it's going to increase catalase by 54 percent and sod or superoxide dismutase by 30 percent Listen, glutathione, it's called the master antioxidant because it's so important to detoxify our bodies. It's a wonderful antioxidant. And in those 37 trillion cells we have in our body, we have glutathione in every one of those cells. So think about how powerful that is if you can boost the production of glutathione by 300%. So of those cells, 37 trillion cells, look at how many free radicals we have, 130. 30 sextillion free radicals and these antioxidants on the bottom one molecule of vitamin c takes care of one free radical in contrast one molecule of sod takes care of one million free radicals that's why we are seeing the results that we're seeing and that you couldn't possibly eat enough blueberries you couldn't possibly drink enough of, of this amazing juice you couldn't take enough vitamin c tablets to have the same impact that pro tandem's nrf2 synergizer because we're turning on your body's genes to make more sod, catalase, and glutathione. Now, I want to show you the reason that these three products work better together. Just like Michael Jordan needed help on the court to win the championship, all of them work better together here are Nerf 1, Nerf 2, and NAD activators. So this is a study, again, we did. In the bright blue, you see the impact of the product by itself on certain genes. And in the aqua, you see the impact of the product when you take all three of them together, NERF-1, NAD, and NERF-2. So let's start on the left. NERF-1 impacts metabolism, that NRF-1 gene. And then we also tested it on PGC1-alpha. You heard that term earlier. That's the gene that controls mitochondria. And what do you see there? Again, huge upregulation. NAD tested it on NAD synthesis, 12%. Uh, up to 128 and 227%, almost 20 times more impact on those sirtuin genes when you take all three of them. And then on the right, you see NERF2. This for me is so powerful because NERF2's impact on that NQ01 gene, that's the gene that controls antioxidant function, doubles the performance of that when you take all three products. But now on the right, inflammation. Ugh, this is why I had such results with my knee. NERF2 upregulates your body's inflammatory gene, the one that controls your inflammation called hemiox by 51%. But when you take it with NAD and NERF1, it upregulates those genes by 848%. Look at the improvement, 38%, 69% more powerful, 967, almost 1800% more powerful, and that inflammation gene almost 1600% more powerful when you take all three products together that's the synergistic effect synergy that we talked about. Now we have another really cool Nerf 2 activated product that athletes love. I just want to mention it briefly. It's our Axio Energy Drink. It's a Nerf 2 activated drink, only 15 calories, sweetened with stevia, GMO free, and it's our brain food. And what does it have in it? B vitamins and mag. A lot of you probably supplement with mag already. This is a really healthy way to do it in an energy drink. L-theanine, green tea extract, pine bark extract. Pine bark is one of my new favorite products. You're going to hear about that in just a second. And quercetin. Love, love, love the impact of all of these. So this is a chapter from a book called Antioxidants in Sports Nutrition. And look, they talk about quercetin, for example. Quercetin improves, improves your time to fatigue in a VO2 max test by 13%. Pine bark extract improves your time to fatigue in a VO2 max test 21% and 17%. And what I love, if you go down to the bottom where it says vitamins A, C, and E, Notice that they didn't improve the cycling time or swimming performance or the aerobic capacity of any of those athletes. That's why you want to take the antioxidants in NERF2 and in our NERF2 activator. The other thing I'll mention is omegas are so important for athletes. Yes, they're good for us for the same reasons as everybody else. You want to make sure you get fresh omegas because omegas go bad just like fish goes bad. You want to find an omega that has a born on date just like your beer, right? But omegas improve what? Mitochondrial function, so important for athletes. So make sure you are on a good omega that's going to help support your body's mitochondria. This is just a snapshot of all of our products we have here at LifeVantage. You see the omegas, pre and probiotics, but for those of you that are uh, performance athletes, maybe you're doing physique competitions, we have Nerf2 activated skincare 
NERF2 activated hair care as well. We know that your skin and your hair is your wrapping paper on your muscle, your muscular physique. So check those out. Let whoever uh, invited you to this webinar share that information with you. Now, I mentioned to you peer-reviewed clinical studies. Science matters here at LifeVantage. If you want to know if the company has done studies on its product, not borrowed the science from cinnamon or borrowed the science from curcumin, if you want to see their product, go to the government website of pubmed.gov and see if they've done studies. Typically, only pharmaceutical drugs spend the time and the money to do that. Here at LifeVantage, we have had 26 peer-reviewed clinical studies, seven U.S. patents, and these are just a snapshot of some of the universities, third parties, not us, that have done the research. Johns Hopkins was involved in the National Institute of Aging study, University of Montreal in a study related to arthritis and inflammation, Texas Tech and Duke both did studies on neuromuscular cells, the Virginia Commonwealth and Ohio State did studies about cardiovascular health. One of them was published by the American Heart Association. That's what a peer-reviewed journal is. American Heart Association's journal called Circulation published one of our studies. Mayo and LSU are investigating a gene called P53 that's a tumor suppressing gene. Really powerful. Whoever invited you to this call can get you copies of those studies. Then I wanted to share one with you that I found when I was doing that two months of research after I had such great results myself but before I actually became a distributor with the company, I went and looked for what Nerf2 does. And I found this study out of Israel where they tested their elite Olympic level endurance athletes compared to their elite Olympic level sprinters. And they found something really unique. 80% of endurance athletes at the Olympic level, the international level, they had a mutation, a good mutation in their Nerf2 gene that does what? That Nerf2 gene controls your antioxidant function. So they are getting more antioxidants. They're having less oxidative stress because of that mutation in their gene. It also controls what you saw on the slide before, your inflammation, your hemiox gene. Now the sprinters, some of them had it, but they didn't have it in nearly as high of a level. This study was duplicated in other places with rowers and, and other elite endurance versus power athletes and they found the same thing over and over again. The higher your level of endurance performance and success, the more likely it was that you had this good mutation in your Nerf2 gene. Now, there's a couple other clinical studies. This is a great study for anybody who just wants an overview of how Nerf2 works. It's out of Washington State. We had nothing to do with this, and this is just an overview of how Nerf2 works. Talks about those 500 survival genes, detoxification, antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, mitochondrial function, and autophagy, the things we've mentioned over and over tonight. And the authors of this review, they said Nerf2 activation, this Nerf2 may well become the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. That's why what we have our hands on is such a big deal. We pioneered this field. That same study talks about heavy metals and how this Nrf2 protein, it turns on the expression of 25 different genes that control detoxification. Five of those related to glutathione, and it helps you get rid of heavy metals, mercury, lead, cadmium, chelation. So again, anybody that's done PEDs, if you've been exposed to glyphosate on the grass, if you've been eating processed foods where your foods have glyphosate on them, so, so, so important to detox your body. And as you can see here, these are some studies that talk about PEDs. So we got to be real. A lot of people have done PEDs to improve their performance on the field. We know that steroids impact your liver function, cause fatty liver disease, just like you're a big old guy with a beer belly that hasn't taken care of himself. They raise your chance of heart disease, vascular disease, high blood pressure, and ultimately tumors. So even more important to detox your body and help support your body's function. So Nrf2 is going to do that. And you saw that NAD is going to help with that autophagy process, getting rid of the junk in your cells, the soot at the bottom of your cellular fireplace, right? Now, not a lot left. We just want to show you some of the other experts here. Leading our company is another peer-reviewed author. He has several clinical studies that he's published talking about glutathione, talking about alpha lipoic acid. Alpha lipoic acid, one of the ingredients in our Nrf1 activator. He's our chief scientific officer. His name is Brian Dixon. He did his PhD work at Oregon State University, their Linus Pauling Institute. So when we try a lawsuit, we want to make sure that there are expert witnesses to testify because they know more than lay people about the science. Dr. Dixon was very important to me. We also have a whole bunch of cardiologists, plastic surgeons, family doctors, cancer pathologists, people that work with brain injured patients, 
pharmacists who have developed pharmaceuticals themselves, and these three are all practicing cardiologists, love their stories. They sit on our scientific advisory board, and we have more than a thousand, I think it's over 1,200 now, physicians that work with our company. It's another validation for me that the experts believe in our science. Now, I just want to mention to you, we'll talk a little bit about injuries and rehab and recovery. So a couple of testimonials to share with you. Gary is a physical therapist. He's a distributor with us. And he is a triathlete and a cyclist. So you see there, he has blown out his ACL previously, but he also did it two times after he started our products. And as a physical therapist, he knows the average time to recover from an ACL reconstruction is at six to 12 months. Using NERF2 and only NERF2 at the time, he was able to recover in four and a half months and was back on his bike two and a half months post-op, biking up one of the hardest mountains you know, in the Tour de France. Now, what about a professional surfer? You guys all know who he is. Kelly actually fractured his ribs and his pelvis in a snowboarding accident. He was worried he'd never be able to walk again or walk normally again, I should say. And six weeks after the accident, he was running up the stairs. Why? Nerf 2 activation helps fracture healing as well. This is a picture of an x-ray, very similar to what my knee looks like um, with my fractured patella and ruptured triad. This I got to tell you, like I said, my injury was, uh, it was life-changing, honestly. And it happened back in 1990. So in the last 30 years, I have not felt as good as I feel after I've been nerfed to and NAD, now NAD activated has improved it even more. So whatever your injury is, whether it's soft tissue, whether it's bones, NRF2, NAD, and Nerf1 are going to help your body support your body's response. These are just some studies I wanted to show you. Post knee surgery, your oxidative stress is up, your glutathione's decreased, oxidative stress countered by NERF2. This study shows that NERF2 not only helps soft tissue, but it helps the fractured bones in your body. And this is one of those studies of ours on PubMed. This came out of the University of Montreal up in Quebec. And you see here, they talk about the impact of pro tandem, and they found that it decreases free radicals, it enhances your body's pharmacy to produce more of those internal super antioxidants, helps your mitochondrial metabolism. And what I love is it says it preserves cartilage. So even if you're a young athlete without an injury, Nerf 2 is going to help preserve your cartilage and abolish a number of factors known to be associated with osteoarthritis. So we're coming to the end here. I just wanted to share, this is, a, this is a serious topic that I want to go over with you. So we've all heard about concussions and traumatic brain injuries in athletes. You see that 99% of the NFL players that they've autopsied, they had damage to their brain from the prior concussions. Bicyclists get it. 70% of, af of athletes, just regular recreational athletes have had concussions. And now look at this for those moms and dads with high school kids. Almost 20% have had one concussion. Over 5% have had multiple concussions in high school. So obviously we care about concussions because concussions harm our brain, but I wanna tell you the scarier story as well. Concussions are associated with a higher risk of Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's disease, Alzheimer's and dementia. Big, big, big deal. So we want to control them. And so Parkinson's researchers have found, look at these athletes, Kirk Gibson, right? I will remember him forever. I'm a Dodger fan hitting that home run. Dave Parker, look at all of these athletes, four times increased risk of Parkinson's disease. If you've had, if you're an athlete that's had concussions and the scientists that are studying Parkinson's, they talk about Nerf 2 and autophagy, cleaning the junk out of your cells. And they said, this quote is theirs, Nerf 2 protects cells against Parkinson's better than anything else we found. This is about ALS, again, eight and a half times increased risk. Dwight Clark from the San Francisco 49ers, famous for the catch. He died of Lou Gehrig's disease. Steve Gleason from the Saints, he is struggling with it now. An athlete, you may have heard of, of Eric Stevens. He played at Cal Berkeley. He played for the Rams and the Titans. He was just diagnosed with this. Lots and lots of athletes getting Lou Gehrig's disease from concussions. And the important thing is, as concussions happen, the damage doesn't just happen with the initial hit. It goes on because of the neural inflammation and what buildup of oxidative stress and damage to your mitochondria. So, so important for anybody that's playing a sport where you are prone to concussions or hits to be Nerf 1, Nerf 2, and NAD activated. Now, the last thing we'll just give you is a brief overview of the company, because some of you have never heard of LifeVantage before tonight. So just wanted to give you our history. We started back in 2003 and launched our Nerf 2 activator. 
It was sold over the counter in places like GNC and High Health, where you would have buy, where you've been buying your protein powders. In 2005, we were featured on a gotcha journalism show called ABC Primetime. And not only did they not disprove our product worked, but they did exactly the opposite. That reporter, John Quinones, tested our product and his oxidative stress levels went down by 46% in just two weeks. That caught the attention of a lot of news shows and our sales spiked all the way up to $7 million. But our company was run by scientists, not by salesmen or businessmen. And they couldn't satisfy customer service. They couldn't ship things out on time. They didn't know how to run a company. And our sales dropped back down to under $3 million. The company was operating at a net loss. And so the board of directors said, how can we have this amazing product, this product that is, is in decreasing oxidative stress, that's improving health and lifespan, and we can't move it off the shelves. We were only selling half a bottle per store per month. And so the board got advice from business leaders who suggested they take it to direct sales, which is why we're here tonight, because you need to be able to tell the story. A high school kid in a GNC couldn't have talked to you about the science behind NERF2 activation, NERF1, and NAD. That's why we are in direct sales and the move worked because by 2012, our sales topped 100 million. They've been around six, for the last six years, around 200 million. And we had our highest year last year of $226 million in sales. And the other thing about our company that should give you uh, assuage some of your concerns is that we're publicly traded. We're on the NASDAQ. That's the same stock exchange with all the other technology stocks, Amazon, Google, Apple, right? That's a big deal. It's also a big deal because most direct sales companies are privately held. They don't let you look under the hood. They keep their secrets secret. Here, because we're publicly traded, you can check out our stock, you can check out our company, and that's a really big deal. There's 10,000 companies in direct sales, only 20 are publicly traded. And of those 20, only seven are on the NASDAQ. That's where I went to look when I was trying to decide if I wanted to go into business with this company. And what I found surprised me. You see here, institutional investors are hedge funds. These are like Shark Tank guys, millionaires and billionaires that have invested in this company. Renaissance, BlackRock, and Vanguard, they are some of the most well-respected hedge funds on Wall Street. Collectively, these institutional investors own $75 million worth of our stock as of the time we're recording this. And they're a big deal. BlackRock is the biggest hedge fund on Wall Street. They control $6 trillion worth of assets. Vanguard, almost as big. You see their mutual funds and their hedge funds bought into this company. And then Renaissance has returned an average, listen to this, an average of 30% return on the investment for their investors over the last 20 years. They're much smaller, but when they do, and when they invest in a company, people listen and they own almost $15 million worth of our stock. So that was more credibility for me. So as we close, if you want to check out that ABC primetime video, you can go to a website called Biohack and Activate. You're going to see that interview on ABC primetime with John Quinones. You'll see these white buttons over here, these hyperlinks to some of those studies on PubMed so you can check out our science. You're going to hear from some of those doctors that are expert witnesses, and you're also going to hear some testimonials in the dog and horse world. Those were real powerful for me as well because these are thoroughbreds, million dollar horses, people that are breeding these horses for the derby and the preakness, and they are using Nerf 2 activation on their athletes because we all have the same genes. And just as importantly, we know animals don't know what a placebo effect is. So when a horse is lame, and then he's running again, that out in the pasture, that tells you that it's working, right? Now, as we close tonight, just want to invite you to get back to whoever invited you to the call. Let them know whether you want to be a customer and try those try synergizers. Maybe you want to be a business partner. We have a whole other webinar that talks about the business side. They can get you that information. Tonight, we wanted to focus on the product and how this helps athletes. But certainly, this is a great way to make residual income instead of signing autographs where you only get paid once. This allows you to bring in residual income for years and years to come. And if neither of those is for you, I know that the person that invited you to this webinar would love a referral. This is just a snapshot of some of the people that love the science behind this company. Doctors, dentists, physical therapists, pharmacists, estheticians, cosmetologists, anybody in weight loss, personal trainers, anybody that works out at the gym, dog lovers, horse lovers, Anybody that has children playing sports that are trying to get a scholarship to college or to get invited to the combine for the NFL, anybody that takes care of their health and eats organic, all of these people love what the benefits of NERF1, NERF2, and NAD activation are doing, and I know they'd appreciate a referral. 
So as we close tonight, I just want to again thank you for joining me and helping us learn about nutrigenomics and how that's helping athletes boost their performance. We're doing that with NERF2 activation that decreases our inflammation and helps out with free radicals. NERF1 activation boosts our body's mitochondria and ATP, and NAD activating activation is helping with those sirtuin genes, activating our mitochondria, helping with autophagy so that we can get the best out of our genes, that we can maximize our health. So thank you again, everybody, for joining me tonight. I'm so excited to be with this company. I'm so excited to share my own story with you about how Nerf 2 activation and NAD and Nerf 1 have made a difference in my knee. I'm excited to share with you how this can help you optimize your performance and tweak that last bit out of your own genetics so you can make the most of what you've been doing in the gym, all of those hours, all of those decades that you've been putting in to get the most out of your body. So thank you again for joining me tonight. I hope I have a chance to share any information that you want. Get back to whoever invited with you invited you to this and they can answer any questions you might have. Again, my name is Michelle Lorenz and I'm very blessed to be here with LifeVantage, helping people activate their own genes to activate their body and get the most out of their performance. Have a good night, everybody.